Hi, everyone. I'm News Now from Fox Digital Journalist Rain Augustine. I'm joined this morning with former state legislator Dick Batchelor, who is speaking on behalf of the Biden campaign. Dick, good morning. Good morning to you. Well, today's the day. Tonight, Vice President Pence and Senator Kamala Harris square off in Salt Lake City. We've talked to a few experts who say that this is a pretty significant debate. I think it is very significant. I think it gives a chance for Senator Harris to really show her stripes, so to speak. I mean, having been a former prosecutor, attorney general of the state of California, United States senator, now the vice presidential running mate to Joe Biden, I, I think she is going to be looked at very, very closely, but she is very prepared for this debate tonight. The issues are in our favor, so we very much look forward to the debate with the vice president tonight. Now, speaking of the issues, President Trump's recent diagnosis of the coronavirus has brought the federal response plan back as a leading issue. How do we expect Kamala Harris to defend this topic tonight? Well, I think she'll first point out the, this administration has failed uh, dreadfully. Secondly, the vice president has been chairman of the White House Task Force on, the, on COVID and uh, dissuaded people from wearing masks. Uh, he haven't been able to get on the ground uh, enough testing for, for people uh, in the streets, so to speak. And so it's really been a failure. And I think, again, it's magnified by the fact that the president now has COVID. 18 members of his staff and or close to the White House have COVID. Uh, he's now wanting to go back in the Oval Office to expose more people. So it, it's a great contrast, a stark contrast and a grave contrast, actually, to the president's behavior on COVID and the vice president's uh, and his uh, team's recommendation on how we can get this under control. Mm -hmm. And lastly, what impact do you think tonight's debate will have on undecided voters? I think it, uh, and I, I, we want to earn every vote uh, we can, Democrat, Republican, no party affiliation. And there are some un, uh, voters that have not yet made up their mind, a very sp a small margin of those who have not made up their mind. But we want to take the message to those voters to say, look, it's all a stark contrast about leadership styles. Look at the president now. We had a, a package, an economic relief package for people who, in the, who are rank and file, family members who cannot put food on their table. Uh, last night, he said uh, he's gonna put the kibosh on that deal. The chairman of the Federal Reserve, his own appointment said, no, it will call a, a catastrophe economically. And the stock market dropped by 600 points. Now the president's kind of back, uh, kind of backstepping that now a little bit this morning, but it shows a stark contrast. Do you want a leader who looks after the people, the people in the, who are working for, uh, working people in this country and looking at economic relief, but also going back to the COVID, we need it. We've got 214,000 people dead. We've got 5 million people have contacted COVID. So many around the White House. It is a bad sign. So I think the, Senator Harris and I standing there with Vice President Pence, who's been playing a role in this, but another very good one, that would draw a big contrast to the independent voters to say, look, this episode, episode in our history needs to get behind us. We need to bring this country together, and together we can, we think our ticket can. Dick, is there anything else that you would like to add? Yes, I'm going to go be in, in 